I may not remember the first day I held a basketball, but I know that it didn't take long before I couldn't be seen what I wanted. Back then, the ball seemed so big, the rim so high, but that didn't stop me. I'd practice on whatever could pass for a basket, milk crates, cardboard cutouts, Nerf hoops, even an old tire. I stay out there, shooting to dark. Counting it down. Three, two, one. It didn't matter. I love the game. Sometimes now, as I pull that jersey over my head, I still can see the kid inside. The little kid with the big dreams. Dreams of one day making it right here to a place where all my heroes play. Michael. Iverson. And Larry. And now me. I remember picturing myself, signing my name, practicing an autograph people would one day want. I see the looks on these kids' faces now. The joy it gives them to be that close. To have something to remember you by, I know just how they felt. No matter how many years pass, that kid is always there. Somewhere inside of me, each step of this journey, he stays with me. And together, we remember why basketball is a game we love. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Fox Sports Sun. The Sixers, the Heat, back at it in consecutive games on the western shore of Biscayne Bay. And a special day it is right here at American Airlines Arena. Who's that joker? <laughs> here we go, first quarter. Lights up. Rejection. It's up to Dragic. Get it to him. Trifecta, you betcha. That's how you do it right there. Now, here comes D-Wade. John, tell Cassie how he does it. He's, He's spinning. spinning. That was whack. That wasn't even a spin move. Sort of Don't spinning. tell me it's a spin move. <laughs> I need kids camp right now. Look at that. Oh, I love it when that angle's live and low. Cassie, look at that thing. That is such a good angle. Right there. Hang on, kids. Here we go. And then Winslow. Get it to Richardson. I got a fast break dunk. John, this is yours here. Go. A couple of rookies going at it right there. Look at Justice Winslow leading the way. He has got that dimension in his game to be able to lead the break three on two, distributing to his fellow rook there. Richardson giving solid minutes to the Heat. Part of an 11-4 run. McConnell, welcome. Good night. Whiteside had four blocks in the first half. Let's go to the second quarter. Dang. Getting it and giving it back to Dragic. That's good stuff. 11 in the first half for Dragic. He was the steal of the second draft. Long three for Joe Johnson from downtown Kaboom. <laughs> there you go. Still not for you guys. <laughs> Jordan Fishman with a copyright infringement. Nice work. We're going to hop all over that. Reed stole it from Neil Young, and you stole it from Reed. <laughs> that is a trickle down of thievery. Neil Funk, that's what I meant. Neil Young's in a band. Here we go. There's a Reed right there. My goodness, Ish is out of control. <laughs> Quite like me in this highlight like right you. now. Exactly, 76 is fighting back. Let's go to the third quarter. Here comes Wade. Now here's a turnaround. Turn around. With a hook in the paint. And uh, exactly, how about that? Shoes matter. Three for Dragic. He had 23. And then, oh, Stoudemire getting involved in the block party. And all. Man, 10 blocks it all for the heat. Let's take a look at it again. Let me tell you something. The quadruple head fake, ball fake, never works. Kick it out. Kids cam! <laughs> yes! You better watch out. What did it take a hit, baby? Nice work down there. Seconds came with the ball for Philadelphia. He hits McConnell. Back to Cannon for three. Bang and bang. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice work, Rod. <laughs> Double shot. Dang, fired. All right, let's go. Cannon, nice blow by reverse scoop layup. Tied at 85 there. Then here comes Grant. He's got one hand. He's going to slam with it. Ooh, 87, 85, Philadelphia. Now here comes Whiteside. These two are together, John. Man. Nice and beat. Cleveland Clinic, team play of the game. I'm moving on from that meal. Here we go. Off the block. Here we go. Isn't that nice? Dragons, Wade, flush it. Woo! A 
punch in your face, son. Listen, you need a minute at 34. Wait till you get there. <laughs> All right. At 44, it's a nap. There we go, white side and one basketball. Check out this reaction, Cass. Seriously, look at this face. Stay in school. That's what he's saying to you right there. 103 98, the final. Oh, there's all our KEC Canal Point Elementary kids working hard. Come on, you guys are doing it. Come on, give me a little wave. He's like, I am not playing with you. <laughs> nice job, guys. We appreciate all the work you did in the truck today. Let's take a peek at the stats today. John, this is nip and tuck at a ball club. They don't have the same talent. But man, do they work hard. They be in the Philadelphia 76. Never different guys are involved because of the pace of play. Uh, they're allowing a lot of different players to be able to touch the basketball in good positions for them. Look at how we saw Deng score. We're going to see Joe Johnson in the post. Uh, you know, have an opportunity to see D Wade do his thing. But because of the quick and pace, uh, they're absolutely able to isolate and get different guys involved. The guys that really stand out to me are really Lou Al Deng and Justice Winslow, and now Joe. Johnson as a new addition. These guys are finding uh, more opportunities and getting really good open looks. Um, I, I love uh, the fact that Dragic continues to push pace even when he misses. You see the follow up there by Amari Stoudemire because they're going so hard and attacking uh, in terms of, of pace. And look at look at Dang on the tip in white side. I mean five different guys in double figures overall. Um, you know, the heat back court was outstanding. Look at them tied for the, the high score. Uh, and then, you know, overall, to have four of your five starters, uh, so the balanced attack that way, too. Overall, just a great job. Uh, it, a a run-out type of fast break situation. Look at this recovery here. Uh, he had to help out Dragic, who had a much bigger player and Grant on him. Look at him here in midair, straight up and down. Nice soft block there again. This one, again, recovery. Might have gotten almost on the way down. It was such a late move, and he was still able to make a play. This slow motion angle really shows how good he is around the basket. Now, the alley-oops, he got off to a slow start, was about one for six, but he kept pushing. He kept making plays, and they were fouling him. He was going to the free throw line, and again, you know, didn't have one of his better nights, but still six of ten, uh, something he's dramatically improved. Another double-double for him. Uh, I believe that's... Uh, what, nine double-doubles out of the last 10 games he's, he's had since the All-Star break. He's, as long as his minutes are improving, he's going to continue to uh, improve both offensively and defensively. I it's just, I mean, it's been growing. Uh, he's got 23 points this game, eight rebounds, five assists. And uh, we actually just had an interview with Johnson on radio, and he said something about him being gritty and how he's able to get into the uh, paint when very few people can and be able to make the game easier for other guys, give guys open shots, uh, being able to break the defense down and just keep the hustle. Uh, keep the hustle going throughout the game. That's awesome. And he's left-handed like your dad, by the way. Yeah. Right, point that that's out. right. Your dad is so fire. If there's a point guard and he's left-handed, your father's out of control. Well, he's so thinking a lot about Jax, too. I think that stretches the defense and, and makes him a lot harder to guard. And you can just see, to Cassie's point, the confidence growing, I think, with him because he feels like, hey, this is my style of play. I'm, I'm super comfortable doing this. All right, Goran. Five straight wins. You guys definitely have to fight for this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh... You know, uh, second game that we play against Philly in three days, and it's really tough, but, uh, you know, in the end, we pulled out. Uh, we didn't play so well in first three quarters, but, you know, when it's matter, especially that fourth quarter, we did it well. Uh, you've been stepping it up big time lately, and you had another great game today, 23 points. How do you feel? I feel great. I mean, uh, you know, teammates are helping me. Um, I feel... Uh, I feel really awesome on the court. You know, I try to push that up tempo, try to get everybody involved. All right. Ever since acquiring Joe Johnson, you guys have been on a great streak. Five straight wins. What's changed? Changed a lot. Spacings. You know, uh, he can shoot that ball. He, you can put him on pick and roll. You can put him on a low post. And he's a huge factor for us. Um, you know, he's still undefeated with, with us. So hopefully stays like that. Hopefully. Thank you. Daddy, you did it, baby. Gordon, I appreciate the time. There's nothing else to say. You, nice job. job. We appreciate you helping us out on Kids Day. There he goes, the dragon leaving the building. Question by Daniel. It's all handled. And you never do it alone, do you? An assist.
One of the many things that the Dragon provided today as he finished with 23 points, eight rebounds, and that's one of his five assists going up and going down hard. I mean, we did it. We packed it up. Once again, the final score, 103-98. Fifth straight win for your Miami Heat. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight or tomorrow at noon as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun. Your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball for Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Ron Rothstein, John Crotty, and all the kids who made up Kids Day. I am Jason Jackson. Thanks for watching. Good night, South Florida. We leave you now with what, Cass? Final team. Yeah, you do. Ha, <laughs>